Lots of people talking about this story tonight. The Sheriff's Department responds to a call about a suspicious man in Pontiac. What was he doing? Walking down the street with his hands in his pockets. That's it. He recorded the interaction with a cell phone, and so did the police officer. And now the video's going viral. You're going to get to see it, too. Tonight, Fox 2's Randy Wimbley is talking to both sides about what's going on. Well, you're making people nervous. By walking by? Yeah, they said you had your hands in your pockets. Wow, walking by having your hands in your pockets makes people nervous to call the police. It's the viral video that's raising eyebrows and making headlines. Is that any convenient to talk to me right now? Hell yeah. Brandon McKean, a black man, is walking home, but he's stopped by a white sheriff's deputy responding to a 911 call Thanksgiving Day. I felt like I was singled out. Everybody was riding past the situation scene and thought I was doing something wrong. Walking while black <laughs> or a felonious concealment of hands. McKean says he was leaving a friend's house and passed a nearby business on MLK Boulevard that Thursday. I don't know why the address be emergency. An employee inside spotted Brandon and was spooked. He back to buy like six times going back and forth. He's the light skin skinny, little bit old guy. But he walks by. Hands in his pocket, walking back and forth, back and forth. Very much afraid. You can hear it in his uh, in his conversation that he was about to be robbed. But Oakland County Sheriff Mike Bouchard says that 911 call was not made in a vacuum. That business has been robbed twice. Its employees five times. A deputy responded soon after that call came in and Bouchard said he did everything by the book and showed great restraint. I feel like the officer was being really respectable. He didn't try to, you know, invade any of my rights, you know, as far as illegally searching me or trying to identify me or asking any invasive, invasive questions. Brandon went home minutes after encountering the deputy. He was never arrested or searched, but is convinced he was viewed with suspicion because he's black. You can't put all black people in a category with crime. It's like you can't put all police in a category with killing black people, and you can't put, you know, p putting people in stereotypes. Sheriff Bouchard agrees, but says by McKean uploading this video, he helped stoke the flames that divide. To post something on the, the internet without ever calling us, without ever talking to us, without ever asking for an explanation, um, I think fans the flame in a in a situation where it doesn't help. For better or worse, that viral video has been seen more than 3 million times on Brandon McKean's Facebook page and more than 200,000 times on YouTube. Now a protest and a march is being planned on Martin Luther King Boulevard. In Pontiac, Randy Wembley, Fox 2 News.